All right, want to welcome everybody to a stream action recording this on Twitch tonight, today, wherever you may be. So you see, I got my flight plan out up. I think we'll just fly some. This is no particular thing, Mr. Woods. Mr. Woods, FSX. I'm working on my talking too fast. Somebody said I need to slow down when I'm talking, but I'm uh, talking real life. All right, well, the, what we got here is a uh, flight plan on Sim Brief. I know most people know that. Uh, if you don't know, it doesn't matter. Sim Brief is free. Go make your uh, name, uh, username, password. It's actually free setting this up. So right now we got a uh, flight American Airlines, which I don't have a livery for it. 1972 is flight number. We're gonna go from or attempt to go from New Orleans to Miami. Uh, tell you the truth, anything can happen with this because I don't know how my frame rates are. And uh, I haven't streamed this. This is prepared 4.5. Let's go ahead on the generator flight. The briefing here. Then, what I'm going to do is get to it. Hopefully, I want to. Louis Saint air time is an hour and 33 minutes. Block time is two, and a, two hours and one minute. No extra fuel. Block fuel 13046. 13,000 pounds. So all that stuff look halfway right. That departure time probably will not be right. But anyway, I'm going to print. So as you see, we're going across the water. Going across the water here. I didn't know it was that far, actually. <laughs> I wasn't planning on actually going that far, to tell you the truth about it. But let's, let's see. You know, what I'm thinking is, I don't want to really be in the air that long. So, but since I can't sleep and I don't have anything else to do, I just hate to be trying to talk that long in the air. <laughs> so get to Miami. Tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to print this plan out. Yeah, print out page. Who is this? Print out page. So on the second here. Checking some info. with y'all so let me see what well, I need to I don't print out all these pages because I usually don't use all all of them. You can print out page one, two, three, uh, four, five. That's usually about all I print out. That's all I'm gonna print out. So go and print this no custom one through five 
I don't need color. All right. I think I got this. Yeah. So that's print on it. And the reason I did that because I don't want so many things up. I close this out. Ah, uh, Twitch stream. Here we go. So let's go to New Orleans and we'll go to this gate. I don't even know what it is. I don't find those a medium gate, so we'll use it. <clears throat> Let me change vehicle mobiles. Uh I want to go somewhere I have. We know how to fly. Uh, another 757. Oh, we're going to do this 7. Uh, 737, 800. As to, I haven't flew it in actually a while. Anyway, this just a, that's just a, just a, you know, I really ain't got nothing to do right now. I've been asleep for the evening. Again, I stress that uh, my frame rates, I don't know. So far, it has no drop frames in six minutes. So, But, of course, you do a lot of streaming, which I don't have to stream. Actually, I recorded some videos, but I haven't streamed in a while. So, I don't know what it'll be. But be prepared for whatever. And I'll give you some of my misfortunate things. What I'm going to do is make sure I got all my peripherals set up. Let me go mute for a second here. All right, I'm back. Okie dokie. Something you have to get used to. Let's go to outside and look at it. We are at B10. And accordingly, Thank you to the ground out here. One, two. So the route on this is uh wanna take out from one runway eleven. Now I got that to try to put some else up here so you're gonna see my screens flicker something take over here and there. So what I'm doing is seeking I load a flight.
Air flight. Sim brief. So in case you want to see what actually I was doing this. Here's the sim brief flight. Let's see. Notes up up here. Uh, a point. Oh, there we go. So, if you look in contrast to this, we're here. We're gonna go take off on runway 11. Sim brief. Um, No seats and stars. I'm not gonna worry about that tonight. Just want to show you what I was basically doing here. I really tell you the truth, I really don't know how to do just simply like everybody else does, but I mean, uh, excuse me, this Navigraph, sorry, Navigraph. Oh, uh, so it loaded the plan up and we'll put all it in, hopefully. Or. Try to bring it to the plane actually. Anyway, let's get rid of this. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I usually open up. That's it, I think. So, anyway, like I said, we're here and we'll go all the way down here and get on a runway. I don't, I'm looking at this here. It looks. I don't know. We'll do a top down view. So yeah, I don't know what that is. It could be a little, I don't know. Anyway, we're not gonna worry about it. As I said, we're gonna come here and go all the way up here and get on the runway and try to follow a course. Again, I haven't been on this sim and actually just flew it. Well, I did fly the other day. Uh, just taking around with it. Let us go and get some stuff going here. Yeah, I got some stuff on. Okay. I don't know how loud that is. All right, what we'll do is go up here. Cut the stuff on I know we need. I ain't got to worry about none of that stuff right there. Don't leave the y'all dump off for right now. You know what? Let's cut these on to now. Don't need to mess with none of that, that stuff here. Let's go. Um. Oh, yeah. This won't be. Yeah, we got the power on for a battery to go down. Anyway, this is by no means the way this is supposed to go, so I'm just kind of clicking but do what I always do. Right? And, uh, now I'm messing around that stuff. I just do stuff like this. Okay, so that's on. Uh, you know that stuff on. That's good. On that. I do bring my paddles up. Just make sure I get everything on. Yet. Oh, we're going to 10,000 just initially. Actually, 
We might not go that far. It's costing, it's calling for 35. Uh, we'll put it up there since we're going to be in the arrow. Uh, and. Put the packs on. Hopefully, I remember to cut them back off. Everything up here looks alright to me. Let's go to the bottom. T gas test fail. Alright, anyway. Really, we don't want to do anything up there. Back it up a little bit. That's. No, I'm not doing the fire test. See that there? What I need to do is go. Let's see. Oh, let's keep it clear. Oh, yeah. oh, we are at. Just go big page. Okay. Yeah. MS, what am I doing? So, bye, yep, I asked. Uh, do have a flight number? Let me find it on the paperwork. Go back to me. Alright, let's get some fuel in here first. Right there. Fuel. Yo. 
low block fuel, 13, 0, 4, 6. Actually, this was 14 now. For this, we also will just do regular tickets. So we'll be departing.
suppose if we were at, I mean, only Batch. Oh man, I'm a scat. Scat five. Bag strapish. So, oh, why didn't give me a uh, okay, I tell you, I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying. So we'll do one eleven. So what I will do is <clears throat> gonna put G A W K X. See what that? Actually, between the blue wide two ninety, two that work. I'll think it would. I don't do it. Database. Actually, got a good cigar in here. Blivens B L V N S. B L V N S. As you can figure out, it will probably have to do that. So that should be a plan. Right plan. But if we go over here and change this to blue light, and then we'll go step it out.
Bora. Bora lá. Alright kids, kids you may surprise, you are on it, or is it a little bit of building, but back up, oh but, it's hard to, thanks. Where I get twisted. Alright, Robo there. Then to Wallet. And lift it. So what it's doing is taking me out. I think it's something I put around here. Backwards. So it should go. Wallet to grit. Let's change this and see what happens. Alright. That looks better. Nine. So, as far as I'm concerned, this is good. Looks good. Give it up one more time. Who knows? Anyway, and I got all of that from here. Top of this, just to let you know. So I don't know why it started, but I I started where it's bags. So I just went back backwards on this, made it work. So this is not my favorite part of the simulator. Alright, so anyway, that is it for that. Uh, that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to put this back to the top. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, put you, put everything right here. Let me put you on that. Get back down there. And you are back. Alright, people. So far, no crashes yet. <laughs> but y'all, I can see. Oh, leg. Put your own legs right there. Get up in a bit. Turn some buttons. You know, let me think of one thing I need to do is, uh, let me share this with y'all. So what I need is, 
which does not have a set. But what I'll put in here is no seeds. Like that's not. Actually, what I need to put in, what I'm looking for, actually, uh, where are we going? Am I? Search. Bayama. Let's look at this. And we will be arriving at the, uh, what did I say? Scott. Now, got so that is need to be that thousand below. We got nine. Okay, let's. Now, one of the things that I really need to remember in this. Uh, grit, I guess. So. This is nine. Virginia Key. I never, never actually looked at that. Anyway, final approach course ninety two degrees for the eyeball, which is right here. Localizers one ten nine. What I will do is write that down. So we kind of get on the right. One ten ninety. Now we'll put that in, and also ninety two final approach course, ninety two degrees. All right. If I was on uh, whatever, I put. That that in there, so, but we're not. I'm trying to see the age, the siege and height. Actually, that's what I need. Think about it. Elevation is nine feet. That's pretty low. So what we'll do is go back and uh, ride. As a missed approach, climb to 800 feet, then climb a right turn to 3,000 feet, direct to feet KC. So, missed approach. So, it's initial climb back to 800 feet, turn right, 3,000, go back there, hold and continue. Hold, continue, climb in hold on 3,000 feet, then they should be on contact and say, hey, turn around and come back this way. All right. So I don't need any of that. That we're not gonna use. And for right now, that's all we need from there. So let's. I think let me look at something else. Are we nine. Ooh. Guess we'll float it all the way down. Where we want, we'll get off somewhere. But it'd be good if we can get off and just go straight. So might just take the runway all the way down. Or, We'll see when we get there. Let's go back to this way. Show us on the ground, I think. Yeah. All right, moving this to the other screen. So far, I'm doing good. Only got 0.4% drop frames.
Alright. Let us, first of all, I'll go do something here. I can't, I can't see what I'm doing. Look this way. Alright, I got all that junk on. I don't really think that needs to be on. Go on. Uh, nothing really messing up there. Oh, yeah, that's what I was checking, making sure that I would went uh, around. That's a zero, actually. Alright. According to me, <laughs> everything up here is alright. I kept those on. I do this, I know this ain't the right way to do all this stuff. Then again, hey, I'm not doing everything the right way. You're not supposed to do all that. I do. Yeah. Let us go. Let us uh, take off a thing like 130. I'm going to set this to 145, 150. Yeah, there's going to be... What was it? Hey, Marty, it was. Let's set it when we get up to it. Runway. If I were going to turn this to RTO, uh, we don't get out of Something else I said I want to do. Uh, okay. That, 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 that. Alright, let's um, get the APU off. I do not use this. In case you're wondering, uh, did it work? I don't know. Does it? If it doesn't, I'll, I'm not going to do all that right there because I got on other screen anyway. So. Now, what was I supposed to be doing? Oh, oh. oh maybe you. Alright. Did it fire up? I think. Did. Now we can get rid of the Actually, we just like to do this here. Oh. oh yeah, yeah. So let's call for pushback if we can. And actually I just need to push back the tail right. Oh. See can we get this to work? It works when it wants to. Be 
are about to align. Yes, I could have pushed it. I could have shown some kind of some animation, but I don't worry about it. Well, I'll leave this like it is. I hope it ain't too loud. Did you say unlock the brakes? Uh, I'm not saying tail, nose, left tail, right. Parcher check completed. Bypass pin inserted. Release parking brakes. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. What you say? Look here, let's go up here and go get out there. Go off. Out of the way. And let's see if we can get an engine started. down here with the current TK. Test it. TCAS test pass. Oh, okay, good. Right, let's go and tell them that we got a good uh, one. Good in this start. They're all some flap sound if I can hold the thing. I think that's right. Let's see. Thank you for that, baby. There's another flap out. Unlocking here. Let's 
so ass for that. Left is clear. Right is clear. They pee you off, take the lights on. Just get stuff to go on. Down here. Make sure. Just cut the lights off, back off, so we flat on the 35 with the fire. As I can tell, for this little bit, we got here. And, uh, we're at the point. I get me a bit. So, let's do one of this, so. We're going up and around here. Actually, yeah, going up. Around here. the way to here. I don't even know if we can then we're gonna cross actually what we can do is uh, let's just go sh 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 right. yeah let's go straight across and then we'll go up so we're gonna take all the runway up. All of it. T cats and good. Everything is safe to take off. And if that is right. Something else, let me do it. I think something's like left, right over there. Yeah, you know, maybe that's the right thing. All right, let's do a little pause here. Anybody coming? Anybody coming? I don't see nobody. Let's try to eat on off here.
Oh, wait, my look, man. All right, get out of the way, sir. I'm like, they're going to hit. Obviously, I'm going the wrong way. I'm glad this is LaFine's stream because it is what it is, but it doesn't leave me to so much, you know, so many people and things. I'd be the bigger person. I'd be the bigger person. Oh, no, no, the one I told y'all was, ooh, I screwed that up. Man, we having fun. This is very unsafe, I wouldn't suggest anybody to do it. Somebody's going to have to abort man it. Probably. Yeah, of course I would be fired. Oh, just let y'all know too that I can't uh, read anything. Uh, y'all haven't check because... Well, uh, you know, I didn't think about it. Let's go back up the way it's going to go. Yeah, I'm doing some more stuff. I'm just doing an hour. Yeah, yeah. Today they were fired for the new mic call. 30 miles an hour ground speed. <laughs> oh, 
know, it looks like, it looks like as if, look like as if, I will go here, and we're just going to use this part of the runway to get it off the ground. I bet you wouldn't like the pilot saying that. I hope we get off the ground. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Is that going to be feasible? Uh, why is everybody taking off, uh, taking off that way? This is what we're going to do. Let's see this. He's clear. Nobody caught there. Still, the seal will have the mind of his own, so actually, I guess what I should have done is just actually kind of seen what it was taking off from, and that way I would have lined, lined up with the traffic, but we all right. This is, I want to say, paved work. Prepared, that's why the lights are supposed to float. Alright, let's see. Alright. Somebody coming in, but yeah, there. Eight miles out. Ah, they, they are going up. Not really worried about him. They're going up. So, let's go ahead on and take off. Put that off for worse. jump on line up here. Oh, that's a bad line up. All right, let's turn on. Let's turn on everything I ain't turned on yet. I don't throw those. Just in case we jack some up. Yeah, I was gonna put it on main of us. I guess 105. Now, every time that I press that's the only thing I know that's left out, but every time you like press that thing, that uh auto speed breaker, whatever it's X-ray. Uh oh. Surely he's not coming to the end of the runway. I think I got everything. Oh, he aborted. it. My bad, dog. Get out of here.
we'll call it in the stable engines. Yeah, that's what I was saying, but for some reason. High speed is alive. 80, 90 knots. What y'all are not looking at is this, which I'm looking at, and what I'm trying to do is figure out how to track it in the air, but I'm uh, not going to really worry about it today, because we are having fun. So let's get rid of this and go out here. This is the best I can do for you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're crossing the Mississippi River. <laughs> Alright, put that other screen. The other screen. Go outside for a minute here.
I bet you see that press is right because I have uh, Yapa turned over and all that. It's a disaster. It's bad. I don't know. What we do need to do is warm up to think this is not a step plan. Let's go up to one. I'm going up to 35,000. Check this thing I don't know if that's the way it goes again, but sometimes you do. Uh, at least that's the way I do. And we're climbing 11,000 to 35,000. 18,000 feet, we're going to take our standard button. Actually, it's already into that. I don't know if I did I set that. It's not in standard, it's just a barometric temperature, I guess. I don't really know. But, um, actually I got out of the... Got out the sim world for a while. Sim world for a while. And, uh... Actually built this a computer computer for the purpose of flight simulator. This flight simulator is coming out. Turns out... That I don't really actually fly the plane, but again, it's a great scenery, it's way better. To me, this is a decent scenery because it has more big stiff and this type of thing. But, in my opinion, in my opinion, the uh, geography and all this good stuff on the uh, plane simulator. 2020. It's outstanding. I wish it was in this right here. Because as it turns out, they released it. They released it with the Airbus 320, which I do not fly. I do not fly, so I take it with the Abraham Airbus 320 and, uh, well, you know, we used to fly, I'm used to flying Boeing's and all that, so, actually, I never, uh, got into, all right, so we'll be at the top of the line, about 40 miles, which we're going to be in our buildings, I can't do it, anyway. I'm going for 18,000 and we get to pick our standard budget here. And as far as I know, we are doing decent, not great, decent. Uh, also, yeah, on this terminal uh, charts, you could probably get that up and find it. I'm not going to take the time. I don't know. I'm not going to take the time to sign it. I'll show you on the other map here. It's what I'm looking at on my other screen. So, <sighs> got a little piece to go. something here. Uh, cut that down. I actually like to hear the engines. I imagine that's how it sounds. I guess in real life, I know. Never been in the cockpit like that. So, 
Hopefully the sounds of the microphone is coming out good. Uh, I've been working on it, but no avail. And it makes my voice sound really, really deep like it is with no trouble in it. It's a work in progress with the sound of the skin and the money on it. Um, I got about two micro two uh, one. Blue yet it might blue uh whatever it is. Microphone and two three headsets and all that. But we are going ahead on to actually go check out progress here. Uh, and we have 551 miles to uh, Miami. I like to do more. Too bad. Too bad. Now, I don't know if it's going to work right. Terribly wrong. So, I, that's all I really want to do. You can mess with this, but I'm going to be. The question is, you know, That's all I know how to do. I have to actually look at the video. Right now we're at uh, 28,000 feet. Trying to get to 35. And we um, actually cut off seatbelt lights on the new stuff.
Yeah, like I said, so once we, uh, well, the scene's just a little too loud in the cockpit here. Maybe. Yeah, that is a little loud, I guess. I don't really know. Just, just kind of flying. I thought I'd just mute the whole thing and do a silent flight. We are 31 plus, still climbing. Everything looks good up here. I said the course eventually is going to be 92. And I will set that for 92 just in case I get lucky. <laughs> But most of the time what happens when I get to the uh I usually have the runway in uh, sight. It doesn't happen as much on this aircraft, but I know on that uh quality wing seven fifty seven, somehow or another it just loses sight or something and, and it directs me to a wrong the wrong runway and I end up having to circle around and try to uh land that way. So Usually it's very interesting. Yeah, sorry for the, as I said again, sorry for the long uh, actual stream. Didn't think it was going to be this long. Next time I look a little bit more at my picking, because I usually can do something small like I do New Orleans to uh, Memphis. I think I'll do a Memphis to, probably Memphis to Birmingham or something like that. I don't have scenery for it, but it is what it is. When it comes to it a lot of perks in this thing that I don't get one of them is one of the biggest differences in prepared and I guess they explain I, I don't have explained but what I hear what they say is uh, one of the biggest differences is you got to load up so much stuff on prepared uh, I'm just gonna talk for prepared for me it's my opinion so we are thousand miles, thousand feet, thousand miles, thousand miles, thousand feet within. So we'll be hitting the top of this. So what we'll do is go on up here and tell the people they turn the seatbelt off. We'll put it to the main panel anyway, just to click around on the two things. Yeah, we'll turn the seat belts auto. That does nothing. So they can cut their all that off right there. And that's all I can do for right now. Leave all this stuff on. The wheel lights are off. And looks like it's pretty good for right now. So leave it there and another thing about these videos are these videos are not scripted <laughs> like when I upload this video it would not be scripted nothing is edited or anything like this so whatever happens in the stream or just happens So we are 35,000. Yes, we are. And 360 miles, 365 miles away. They're actually up top of descent, 364 miles. So we coming down, start coming down. I actually like to come down in about uh, 
start coming down about 125 miles out. 120, 125 miles out from 35,000 feet. So, right now we will keep it cruising. So I want to actually see how long is it saying we have 9,000, I mean 9,000 pounds, which is good because sometimes I do have to go around. So it's saying 21, 21 28 to um, Miami and 21.06 to the top of climb, I mean uh, descent there. So roughly looking at this 2106 uh, got a little bit less than a less than an hour just say so Everybody is awaiting, which I guess you kind of can say I'm awaiting to the first release of an actual Boeing from a uh, PMD, uh, is PMDG or no, Aerosoft, Aerosoft, oh, uh, the CRJ, and uh, everybody's kind of waiting that I think it's on the 18th. Everybody's kind of waiting at and I imagine when they get it on the 18th whenever it releases it will be People everywhere just streaming that right there. So kind of wait because I like the CRJ. It's not one of my favorite, but It'll do you know, it's something that I can fly But not professionally. I probably can fly it pretty much like I can fly this and you see how this is going <laughs> So I'm gonna click on some stuff here. What I'm looking at is this right here. And this is where you get your elevation from. Um, on Navigraph, of course, this is a uh, paid subscription on Navigraph. And you get the Navigraph, Navigraph charts with it. I pay for it about a year. You know, sometimes I feel like I don't get my money out of it because I don't fly, which a lot, which is on me. So, Try to look here and I think I might do a I don't know I might see can I find some uh, find some I mean because I feel like that my uh, this right here this technically I think my opinion that this um, P uh, prepared 4.5 well, that's probably as far as I'm gonna go you know I, I mean it's always gonna be my go-to my go-to uh, thing I got used to it actually I came from FSX uh, flight simulator X or 10 or whatever you want to call it and that's what I actually came from but and this is just really an adaptation of it uh, if you will to me it's just an upgrade this, Prepare this update upgrade from MSX so MFX so um, me personally you know I kind of like it I got used to it and by the time I got used to it, they actually started fading it out but this is better though not this navigraph but what I'm saying is the simulator itself is better in my opinion. Hey, you know, I was thinking about maybe I could, I want to say I got scenery for, is it, I got some scenery for, I don't, cannot say whether it's for Charleston or, I 
think I do have for for Charleston. I think I'm trying to make sure. Uh, can't really tell. Anyway, I had to go look. But I know I have scenery for Miami, which we could lose a lot of frame rates when we come to, to not Miami. But I have Miami, and I have Fort Worth, Texas, New Orleans. <sighs> yeah, Dallas, Fort Worth. I want to say I have Chicago somewhere, <laughs> I think. But anyway, long story short, yeah, I got scenery that I need to really write it down. But I really like to find some from a. Oh yeah, and I do have. Uh, no, no, I don't. Key West, but I forgot that that's in actually in um, prepared. I do have that. I mean, not prepared. I'm sorry. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So you kind of get these things kind of mixed up sometimes when you're. Uh, Got different simulators going from here to there, this and that, this and that. So, uh, sorry about that, y'all. Just keep switching. Actually, I'm looking at two screens, and for some reason, matter of fact, let me see. Um, something here. Look at um. It doesn't supposed to. Go back to. I was thinking that every time it does that, this pause. What it does ask me, do I want to leave? Flight simulator. I mean, uh, this simulator. Uh, but I was thinking it has. Uh, let me show all these things right here. Display. So here's my how to be sync off. Because actually, I could target a little bit more, but my sim just runs better with just 30 frames. So, leave that like that is. In fact, we can see what we get now. Uh, as far as frame rates, 29.30. Right at it. Actually, what I want to look at something here one more time. And let's look at. If I bump that up, because I could be hindering the system, actually. See? So. I'm not going to try not to limit it, but mine, this system has never went over. Actually, this is a new system that I mentioned before that I put together from scratch. Um, I have a... Uh, also have track IR and webcam and all that good stuff, but I don't bother hooking it up. As I said again, I did not start this clock. So hey, don't worry about it. Still saying 2106 to the top of the cent and 2128 land. So actually, 21 is 20 26 now. So, hour and two minutes basically. I said, I hope this. I hope that the engines are not too loud. If they are, I looked at it and uh, you can't say something on this chat. I don't really follow it a whole lot. Uh, I actually try to get this steam labs and this and that. This. I didn't get it to work. <laughs> so, and I haven't decided to. I didn't want to dove, dive more into it to tell you the truth with whatever. I don't know, for some reason I kind of started watching a lot of videos and then do end the fly myself so i want to say this is the, this is the first flight i've actually put up i asked got some train simulator videos but this is actually the first flight i put up in i don't know it's been a while
And if this is on YouTube, when I if I describe, decide to uh, upload it, I welcome everybody to my sh after post stream, I guess you could say, because I'm actually doing this on Twitch. So, but my YouTube people want to say thank you for stopping by, leave a comment. If anything is wrong, put it in the comment or whatever. You know, I'll try to fix it on the next go round, whenever that may be. I know my voice, I already can tell you that my voice is a little too loud, more than likely. But I did a train video and you barely can hear my voice over the engine. So that is the reason that this is the way it is. Maybe loud, but I'm going to, uh, my, at least my plans are to uh, actually get another microphone. They say you can get them for like $20, $30. got to do some research on it. But my plan is to get another microphone. I just don't like the fact that a microphone that's just is kind of in your face, you know, it's kind of it's kind of in your face. And also, you got to have some kind of headphones on, especially if you're doing fat sim or something like that. Or I mean, to separate, I guess I have been on that sim and used it, but it used was at right at this point in time. It's like 1:30 in the morning. And, you know, I have been in Memphis and just got on VATSIM and did get uh, flight instructions out and uh, on, on a uh, departure and uh, talked to them and all that. So I did do that. I just kind of got out of For some reason, I built a new computer and got it online and got everything good. And then I just lost interest for some reason. I guess I was watching a lot of videos, Stalker and... Max Slim, or Michael Salmon, and uh, a lot of other videos. Uh, I just kind of got to just watching instead of just trying to fly myself YouTube videos, you know? So now I'm trying to pick it back up again and got a few hours off of work and I actually went to sleep thinking that I maybe would probably go to work today or tonight, brother. And I didn't. And on call, I'm on call, but did not get a chance to go. So, all my guys out there, KCS, Kansas City Southern Railroad, I'm waiting to come to work. <laughs> Turn this down. Yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, I can hear that through my. I can hear it through my headphones. I just, like I said, turned it down. I, I hope that when I review this video, that <laughs> nobody will. It's not too loud. But if it is, I'll review it and try to figure out where to put my sliders at on, and all that. But uh, I even went and tried to play music one time through it or whatever. I will get that right one way or the other. Matter of fact. I don't think I put it as a did I? No, I did not. I thought I did. Uh, I forget. Oh, that's what it was. So, my next plan actually is to, uh, actually, let me step off for a minute here and I will get back with you all. Let me see something right quick here. Uh, so, take a little intermission here and just kind of let the music. It's just something I got just going on in a loop. So anyway, I'll do that for a minute.
Yeah, I'm trying to see if I do all of this. Oh, no, doesn't work. Anyway, this is something I'm actually working on. Let's see. Try this. Let me see. Add on. Let me see what I got. So I do have Memphis, Dallas, Texas. Uh, this is Latin Kings, Latin VFR, Miami. I don't let's see what else I'm looking at. Okay, so I got Miami, I got Chicago, Miami, New Orleans, the Mad Dog X, which I kind of never forgot how to fly. Anyway, um, Dallas, Fort Worth, and Memphis. So I got all of that. Um, how we doing? Let me go turn this back on just in case it acts crazy. Turn that down. Let me see something one more time here, people. Kind of experiment. So, you can help me out some kind of way and tell me how to. Um, what was that? What I'm doing? Sound. I do like to hear the engines, cockpit, kind of environment, not really. Of course. Now that seems like. It seems like when I did that. Oh yeah, we got time, so. Let's see, do it make a difference? That's right, you are my experimental people. I think I need a, I think I need a splitter or something to, maybe a mixer, something to mix up my, uh, to cut this off of that. Of course, I got a cluttered desk top already, but it is what it is. Try to make room. And what I would like to do also is uh make a you know where playlist or whatever.
All right, hold on a minute. We're gonna step out. They got uh, 227. Right now we're going right a little. Uh, uh, 4128, as you can see over here. 4128 to landing. So we are 340 miles out from Miami landing and uh, 225 from the top of descent. So that's a hell of six. Still time. It's fun out. It's, it's keeping track pretty good, I guess. So about 45 minutes, something like that, or whatever it is. I'm gonna take a little break and let the music play to you. You know, I figure out how to uh, make all this go and I download some more songs off of. Actually, this music comes off of uh, YouTube Music. Hopefully. Just to come off YouTube music, ain't no copyright infringements. We get no strikes. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute, y'all.
All right, y'all, I'm back right now. Hope that. Go back to our plane. I will, uh, I'll ask more songs that play this thing, just depending on how much I stream. Go and try to find some more, uh, music. Other than that, nothing's really changed. I did realize when I got up that, yeah, in Miami, we will have 4,000 or allegedly 4,000 pounds. 4.4 4, thousand pounds. This actually stand corrected. This actually is the uh, field we have on board right now. So, and yeah, we should have 4,000 pounds to circle around with or this date if we don't crash into the pavement. Hopefully not. Other than that, really, nothing has really, really changed. Uh, I bring my other screen. I say I don't. I ain't figured out how to do that yet, but how to make this with my sounds to keep going. But as you see, we are at, what is this? Let me see. And legs. Yeah, so we 73 miles away from Gox. Look at the, uh, be our next waypoint there. So we're 73 miles away from Gox and then it'll be 13 miles to Bags and then 46 miles. So, uh, we moving on. We move. There you go. Another an outside shot there. Do we see land? We do. I see land. Yeah, so we're going that way. So really, should be kind of according to the map. Point it that way. So this should be, should be looking at Port Charlotte, or Venice, right there. Actually, then uh, matter of fact, you know, what I was trying to look up was uh, I was trying to find it. It's not ironic. That I can't find. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place, or it's just not on this map. I don't know. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. As a truck driver, I have been down all of these windy roads. <laughs> And yeah, I actually see the alligators stuff out there sunbathing and all that. Uh, so, you know, hey, here's what it is. Move you over to the side. That you enjoy this beautiful, beautiful view. I was looking. Let me look up something else real quick. I'm trying to decide that I need an iPad or something like that, uh, but I'm an Android guy. Yeah, for one second, people. There you go. What's wrong about that? So my thing is, as I was looking, and I know they were right in front of me. Hey, 
and and what I was looking for was <laughs> ironically, and I know it's right there in front of me. But see, when you blow this uh, when you blow this down, I was looking for Orlando. I got a brother that stays in Orlando. And I said I was gonna try to, and I actually have been here delivering stuff for the truck company. But I was trying to find Orlando, and I'm trying to look for to see the Orlando, uh, Orlando Airport. Uh, I know it's not K O R. D, so I need to actually take you back to your plane here. So the thing for that is uh, the ICAO code is uh, it's KMCO. Yeah, it's KMCO. I was trying to look and see what did the actual airport look like but I guess I can see what let's see what our status is here let me don't miss something here so let me see what our status is as far as progress are we still 100 miles from top of this I can do this right quick I think so what I was doing was looking up another airport on it and uh I said that it was KMCO. Let's do a little playing around here. Put K M C O. Let's look at it. And taxi airport. So hey, it looks all right there. Uh, but what I want to do is find some scenery on it. And you know, I think everything is north and south. I guess that would be. But anyway. Zoom back out to our route, and we should be coming up on uh, what was that? Coming up on Guacs, Guacs. I don't know what it's there for. Anyway, yeah, that's what we should be coming up on. This to my other page here, but that looks like that probably be a good little run for you know, uh, a Cessna or something like that, just to fly over that and uh, find that from Miami to maybe Miami to uh, Orlando. That shouldn't be too far away, actually, in a way. So I don't know how my frame rate is going to act. And if it cuts off, so be it. Be all right. A lot of times with the uh, flight simulator stuff, I, don't, I haven't seen anyone that got a perfect uh, setup. I, I say that per se. They're awesome. Yeah, I mean, I understand that they're way better than what I get. Trust me. Well, I don't understand. I'm just looking at something here. I don't know why. 
seems like my traffic is not working and I don't know why but it could be something I know I do have the uh, everything on Is it all? It's a little bit on TARA. Alright, y'all, we're coming up on uh, walks and 4.5 miles. miles and we should be getting yeah, how much uh what the clock say over there 2057 so we only about eight or nine minutes from the top of the scent according to the according to the clock here so it's six Six minutes plus two be eight minutes. She'll be here. I did have Active Sky, uh, and actually bought it for prepared, but uh, when I redid the computer. And upload everything my activation code would not work so I just kind of left it off said I wasn't gonna go buy it again for this which I still might have ever come bring it back on sale but possibly but I mean there's no need of doing it when um, if you go into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 it has actually added weather in it which is counter to me is just as good to me Again, I'm not one of those guys that, you know, just flies and everything has to be just right. I'm actually happy. I'm actually happy and enthused that I can get a plane in the air and it may not be the exact way it's supposed to be. I understand all of that. But for somebody that come from, oh, um, I had to learn all this stuff myself and watch a lot, a lot of videos to get this plane to do this. Because I started out with, like, very, very terrible scenery uh laptop i mean yeah so i actually started on the laptop the first videos i recorded was on the laptop actually that's why they're so kind of gritty and, and and the truth about it was is uh it was in a lap it was on a laptop and i was driving trucks at the time and i had it and recorded videos on my break as i was driving a truck like it time me to shut down i actually got my laptop out and recorded it the best that i could you know, just to start. A lot of folks say, oh, it's funny. A lot of folks, you just want to make money on YouTube. No, not really. Of course, man, if I get 10,000 subscribers, why not? But that's, uh, you know, you got to work very hard to do that. And I don't do that enough to do that, if you understand what I say. But anyway, uh, it was just me just trying, trying to uh, get started. And not that I want, knew I could fly things. Because I can't. Not just like those the guys that I follow are really really good so I knew that I couldn't possibly you know do what they do but like they do it but uh, be surprised what you can do if you try so I tried and you know posted a few videos and the thing is too that I realized that when I first started <clears throat> I didn't have anybody that I could communicate with that flew planes or anything like that. I just wanted to know how to. I'm just always intrigued, intrigued by transportation, period. So I always just wanted to know how to do it. So, tell people now, if I 
I fly fake planes for a hobby. They look at me like I'm crazy, but it's okay. Can you really fly? Can you fly a real plane? No. <laughs> it's so funny. Can you fly a real plane? Well, you just look at my planes that I'm flying now, you know? And and that's how I kind of look at it. Hey, no, I can't fly a real plane. I'm not trying to fly a real plane, you know? Yeah, you know, like you want to ask them sometimes, would you ride if you, you stepped on it and it was me and them? You're like, oh, no. <laughs> It would probably be truly hilarious. Anyway, let's look at our legs. And uh, first, what we're going down to is uh, 24 5. 24,500. Now, what I'm going to do is take a chance of doing this. Don't put this on 24-5. that right? Yeah, 24-5. And C is it going to, uh, you know, try to, let me zoom out on this a little bit. My other problem so let's go into different subjects here. But yeah, I want to see if they're going to go down by it. It's supposed to start. It's supposed to, if I got everything set right, it's supposed to go down to 24.5. Then once it locks in 24.5, down to 13, 10, all the way down. And we'll be at 3,000 or above at grit. Three thousand feet, hundred eighty knots. So that's uh. But right now we're gonna keep the speed that we're going, even though we're gonna start deceleration until we get all the way to Scotts. We we'll need to be at two fifty one knots at ten thousand eighty five feet. Let's see how this go. It's gonna be interesting. I don't know. So, when somebody sees this video, just comment about everything because I'm still trying to get to uh, like the sounds are kind of high pitched. That's, I gotta figure out where I need to put these sounds at for the video. So what we'll do in a professional capacity, go ahead on and go up here uh, and cut uh, I like that sound, you yeah. know. So probably, hopefully, I'm saying this right now. Next time, I'll try to, we'll we'll go through all this, or we'll at least initialize it, and maybe we can get the uh, charts and stuff on here. That way, I won't have to switch over to my other one, uh, my Navigraph charts on the other screen, and it keeps clicking and uh, sound keeps coming out. So. I guess we got 2.9 miles to bear. Is that right? Let me click over to my other screen real quick here. All right, let's see where we at. We're coming on in, we're coming along the coastline here of uh, um, Florida, and we should be looking at uh, Naples on the coastline here. So 
let's see. Since we right at the top of the set. There it goes. So it starts going down and might have to put some flaps out. Don't know quite yet. But uh, as you can see, the engines are going all the way. The engines are, you know, trying to adjust the speed to the pitch, whatever, so it won't over speed. Sometimes it will. Look at something else. I, I can't one uh, one thing I cannot figure out is why when you you know you put this on I don't know why it trips the brake every time well so it's saying uh go back to my yes uh, we need to be at twenty four five uh actually saying that we'll be there before that. And it's supposed to keep a 296 or close to that, you know, on the speed. So, like I said, I flew this plane before a couple, uh, well, quite a few times, just not online. And it really didn't plan for this to be two over two hours, but hey, that's my bad on that. Uh, yeah, we should be looking at a. Uh, Accordingly, this is supposed to be, yes, Naples, I guess. I think the, uh, one of these is out of sync. Uh, either my Navigraph is out of sync, because uh, it's showing that we actually closer than what the plane actually shows we are, so. We'll see. Yeah, quarter this will be yeah it'll be close. Sure it's showing it is it, it, it'll be right there on it, so hopefully it will be. And then the next one we'll have is uh these at thirteen eight eighty seven. Uh and my one of my biggest problems with this is I have fun with it. I can't really figure it out to myself. I haven't watched enough videos that actually did what they do. But sometimes you change this, change this. And I guess it's out the levels out. And then but you cannot dial a thirteen eight eighty seven. So usually what I do is just go down to uh ten thousand because I don't see I don't see the in the speed restrictions, I mean, uh, I need to be above. So. And sometimes, said, so do you do this now, or? See, it says reset it. So now I'm gonna reset it down to thirteen. Reset it down to thirteen something. Um, and of course, what I need to do is I'm gonna press it just because. Press the uh, level change in here. Keep it at 
I'm going to keep it at two. Things. So I want to see if it's going to be at these. 25 nautical miles. It's, it's showing that it will be. So it's actually just kind of adjusting the speed, I guess. I'm saying I don't know for sure. Uh, but we'll keep 296. One of my things is I always slow down way too, way of you know, way away from the airport, way too far. So it seems like it takes me a long time to get there. And uh, if I bring this up here, so now it's saying still 21:28. So about 20 minutes, we should be on the ground hopefully. We'll see. This is this is by far the most interesting part of the flight. I don't know if y'all can hear it. It's coming through my it's coming through my ear <laughs> my headphones now. Actually the uh ATC air traffic control actually came through. I don't why maybe it's it's I don't know to tell you the truth, but I'm not gonna activate them because they kinda give you vectors and all this stuff and it gets crazy. Yeah. So it's 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 looking like we won't be at these as we're gonna not quite be there where it says we need to be, but actually I should have turned that to that anyways. So what I'm thinking is this, y'all. I'm just going to turn this on down to 3,000. Uh, where we're supposed to be at, greet at 3,000. And we're going to ease our way down. Let's stop at 10. That way I can cut the lights on and all that good stuff. We are coming up below, so we do need to hit this. Get out of standard mode. I know. I figured it was going to do that. Clear. So what I want to do is see if they're going to stop at 13 or 14 or whatever. And, uh, <clears throat> what we'll do is start dropping. Well. Yeah, we'll put it at 10,000. Start dropping our speed down a little bit here. Uh, and I know what it's going to say is this and that. This will be high though. Yes, it's slowing down at... Uh, we'll try to get our speed down. Two, let's go to forty. That's a damn it all. But as I say, this is what happens. So as for the speed go, whatever. I know we are how many miles out? Shouldn't be actually that far out. Only forty-eight miles out, so 
we might as well get on down now what happens is I'm gonna do some crazy 48 miles out yeah I know And here's my thing when it says D cell, yeah, yeah, but it's still I wanna see actually the speed gonna dis di um uh, as I said this is experimental stuff too. I wanna see actually how is my speed according to this because it doesn't seem like it. Again, I like to tell everybody, hey, I'm not a professional flyer. This I'm still learning this the best as I can, brother. So So you see to me, like I say, it starts um So what I usually do Speed is going down, uh, but uh, since we are that far away, what I do is take it off of VNAP and do speed select on it and uh, Bring it on down. I'm going to put this at three thousand. Supposed to be at 3,000 at grit. So I'm gonna shallow this on out a little bit. I mean, uh, deepen it just a little bit to get it pretty much right there with grit, just say. And hopefully we can be lined up on the uh, runway. Right now I'm gonna kick this back out and kick this back out. And hopefully, I mean, let me see that one more time. We'll make a few little quick turns here and here and there. Yeah, like I said, it's always this is actually always what happens. Go up and cut the lights on. Kick some speed brakes in cause they've been crazy. So we just did bust, we did bust that uh, speed restriction, but uh, it'll be all right. Drop the speed down a little bit here. Yeah, no, man, that's the phone. And we got one.
two more turns and we should be actually looking at the runway to tell you the truth so gotta try to do a visual as soon as I get the speed down should be really looking at the airport it should be here actually it's gonna be a kind of interesting thing here Alright, I'm um, dropping the landing gear. Let's put this landing on about two. Alright, here come the fun part, people. Close with it. Uh, back out. Drop some flaps. Drop the speed down. You know, I don't know what my landing speed was. Let me see. Yeah, I know. I gotta try to. Okay. Now, let me see what it'll do. I'm gonna hit the approach button now. Uh oh. And you can see my frame rates up here have dipped to nothing. See something here. So what I'm doing is watch my flaps I need to drop some more. And I forget what I said approach was approach is one thirty. So it's down to one thirty. Now, here's my thing. It's so far as seems like it's holding, but then as it actually is going, seems like it's going up. So at this time, what I do is 
kill this. This pretty much always happens too, so. And I need to, uh, um, yeah, no. I can get a hold to it again. Oh, that doesn't look good, people. We're going to be coming in hot. A little off the center line. Uh -oh. Coming in hot. A little too low. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, oh. Gonna be hard. <laughs> yeah. All right, reverses back in. Hard landing. Uh, we apply some manual brakes here. We'll get off here. This so won't jam up, hopefully. Oh. Uh, I think we broke something. But if you look at it, uh, my brakes are crazy. What's over there? Go down this way here. Clean all this stuff up. I have done better landing, but hey. Take the life on. All this stuff goes there. Anyway. We did get down. I'm glad I did that. Let's cut off. All this other stuff. So while I'm doing that, I want to go. Actually, I'm looking at my other screen here. And where are we? KMIA? Um, MIA. Look at something else. TMIA at uh, taxi what? So to show y'all what I'm looking at, just so you won't be in the dark here, looking at this screen here. We came in on that and I uh, let's see. This is you. Where is you at over here? So I'll tell you what, let's cut across let's cut across you. Oh. 
Now, let's cut across you here and go over here and park somewhere. Now, this is kind of unorthodox here. As I said, that's why I gave you a disclaimer. And this is going to be a heavy, heavy airport because it's, it's freeware. So we ain't got nobody coming down that way. I don't see anybody coming this way. Let me do something to this. And I'll blow this up here. And let's go ahead and go across here. We can cut this. We don't need it anymore. That off. Let's check and see. Flaps are all the way up. I don't know why. There you go. Yeah. So we'll go over here. Nah, I'm not looking ready for traffic. Just trying to get it here. One thing about this too is I don't know for some reason my um, gates or none of this stuff works. <laughs> I don't know why. We'll find us a suitable parking space here. I don't know what terminal. Yeah, actually, this is a uh, yeah, terminal. And we'll go ahead and park somewhere. Uh, like directors can come off. So, if you've been following this stream, you see, uh, you know, I got a lot to work on. Flight directors come off. Uh, slow down to a bare minimum and uh, we can go up here cut that on and what we'll do like I said none of my gates work for some reason I don't know why all of these are supposed to have gates in them but they don't so we'll just find us a place to park actually I don't know. I think we'll park right here. To the left here. To the right, I'm sorry. So we can get in here. There's supposed to be actually be a gate here. And that's what I kinda hate about everything. Things just don't work right with this thing for some reason. Let me do a little cheating here. Oh, there it is. Like I see it. I think this actually is for a smaller plane. But we're going to put it right up here. Let me go outside and look. Yeah. This probably is for, supposed to be for a smaller plane. Uh, we're gonna put our 737 up here. I don't think that that light works <laughs> right there And That is enough right there parking brakes on uh, matter of fact, let's just see. What do first is uh, here going to inside. All right, let's go up here. A panel, oh, yeah, panel. And APU is on, so we'll cut that one on and that one on. We can kill the engines. If I can find them, maybe not. From that view. Show can get them from this view. Uh, kill the engines. TCAS. Cut that off. Come on. T cast off all the others nothing actually else is on. I do need to cut this 
off. Uh, that's right. Got to park a break on. Flip that off. Uh, let me go to another view. <coughs> Excuse me. Cut these off while I'm up there. I could put my. Th anyway, I cut all this stuff off. Oh. How did they get cut off? Did I cut all it off already? Oh, my people didn't freeze to death. Anyway. Oh, you know, ain't that... Now, you tell me is that crazy or not. I'm looking at it. Because somehow or another, it flipped. <laughs> I flipped it. <laughs> Too crazy. Anyway. Yeah, I get twisted like that sometimes. Cut all this stuff off. Uh, leave the packs on for right now. Don't worry about that. Uh, don't get there about it with the lights, taxi lights, all of that logo lights. Uh, all of that stuff. We're not firing it up anymore. Today, tonight, we're going to call it. Y'all, that was already off. All this other stuff is off. Uh, you know, <clears throat> Leave that one on. You know, some of it seems like some of this stuff just popped on. Anyway. <clears throat> Still got the, uh, and the reason I did that was to cut the engine off to see. And I don't think it works. Let's see, do GSX want to have fun with us today? Yeah, guess so. Should have parked on back a little bit. So let me go back in here and open some doors. Uh, no, it is already has reset. Yeah, I know, yo. Doors open. Um, next page, we need to open the cargo doors. Cargo, cargo. Turn. What to for? So, this is the catering door. Back door. Uh, that. And. Got all that open. Oh, they already got a stairs up too. Hey, that's big time. That's actually pretty good. Now, I don't know what they're unloading. <laughs> but I didn't put that much on here. But hey, it is what it is. Sometimes it's good. Only thing about this is it does supposed to have the uh I haven't figured out how to fix it. Uh, but it does supposed to have the jetways and all that stuff. And it doesn't. Of course, this is um GS6 one. It's not the part two with the band and all that stuff. I didn't figure I need to get that right now. This is good enough for me. So I thought about getting. So in a way, people, I really appreciate you joining on this episode, Mr. Woods. And actually, I might. I need to get a lot more training in. <laughs> But I appreciate everybody coming. Uh, enjoy this access there about three hours. So I do appreciate everybody. Whoever stops in, whoever viewed this video on YouTube, Mr. Woods, Mr. Woods FSX. Appreciate you. everybody. Have a great morning, blessed morning, day or night. I will have all of this stuff to kill out one day.
one day I will have all this stuff together. Anyway, I'll let this run for a minute here and clicking and doing stuff on the other side. But again, welcome to uh, again, welcome to uh, Miami. <laughs> 